night. Once highly classified film footage of nuclear tests conducted by the United States in the 1950s and 60s is now available online for the public to watch. As News 4's Luke Moretti tells us, the people at the Livermore National Lab in California are on a mission to preserve and analyze the films. The power of nuclear weapons. The streets will be filled with rubble. It's a frightening thought. Everything's being burned off from the flash. The imagined horror became real in 1945 when the United States dropped atomic bombs on two cities in Japan. We have films of these people that show seams in their clothing. If they wore a patterned shirt, it was burned onto their skin. From the first atomic test, codenamed Trinity, the genie was out of the bottle. The nuclear age had begun. It's hard not to look at these things and just sort of imagine the, the scale of the destruction that you're looking at. Between 1945 and 1962, the U.S. conducted 210 atmospheric nuclear tests. Multiple cameras captured each event at around 2,400 frames per second. There were usually about 50 cameras per shot. For decades, around 10,000 of these films were stashed away in high-security vaults, slowly decomposing. When you open up these cans after being sealed up for 60 years, the first thing you smell is vinegar, and you know that the film is decomposing. Greg Spriggs is a weapon physicist at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. For the past five years, Spriggs and a team of experts have been hunting down, scanning, reanalyzing, and declassifying these films. Every time we do this and we look at this in greater detail, we find out something new that we, that we knew did not exist back in the 1950s and 60s or something that they didn't analyze. Many of the films are dazzling, breathtaking in terms of the energy released. Just the shock wave from the blast, according to Buffalo State physics professor Daniel McIsaac, will carve out a spherical path of destruction. Really strong buildings will actually go through a complete cycle. They'll go both ways before they snap off. Ordinary residential houses will just be flattened. The idea here is that it's important to characterize and understand the behavior of those weapons. Will Kinney has no direct yeah, connection to the project, but as a UB physics professor, he's deeply interested in the work that's being done at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. So that's condensation that's being driven by the heat release in the, in the atmosphere, and then you see the fireball itself. He says back in the day, the original analysis was done manually, by hand. They had more than a thousand staff people who were actually measuring things on the frames, frame by frame, with rulers. Now, these same films are being reanalyzed using modern computer imaging techniques to improve accuracy and reduce uncertainty. Just by looking at the glow time, we can figure out what the yield is. A very simple, quick and dirty way to do it. And that wasn't done back in the 50s. Today's post-testing era scientists use computer codes to help certify that America's aging nuclear weapons remain safe, secure, and effective. The input they have to calibrate their codes is these old nuclear tests. Those are the only ones available. At the end of the day, those bombs are out there. Uh, and it's probably a good idea to make sure that we have a very clear idea of how they're going to behave. and, and uh, what their characteristics are at this point. The films and the critical data they contain were on the brink of being lost forever. Around 4,200 films have already been digitally scanned. 400 to 500 have been reanalyzed, and about 750 have been declassified. An initial set of declassified films are online and available to view by the public. Creating a public history of what was done during this testing in the 1950s is, a, is going to prove to be of tremendous importance, and I think it's really wonderful that they did that. The hope is that by preserving these films and showing the immense power in destruction that can be unleashed by these weapons, nuclear-armed nations will think twice about using them. Chilling video. It really is. All right, yeah. thank you so much. Appreciate okay. it.